brain tech here, where tech is made simple. Last month, at the beginning of February, Google rolled out Chrome version 110, which included the new NVIDIA RTX Super Resolution support, which basically um, upscales video playing in a browser. Now, just a couple of days ago, NVIDIA rolled out their latest driver, which brought RTX um, Video Super Resolution support to Chrome and a lot more. And I did post on both of those. And I'll leave uh, links to both videos down below in the description in case you would be interested. Now, just to let you know that uh, in regards to the Super Resolution support, um, Microsoft has now announced over on their Cutting Edge website, which is where they um, highlight new features and options they are testing and rolling out to Edge Canary. Here we can see a brand new feature is that Microsoft is now introducing video super resolution support into the Edge browser now, which is currently being tested behind an experimental flag in Edge Canary, which is a preview version of their browser. Now, before we have a look as to how to enable the flag and so on, just to uh, dive a little bit deeper into why Microsoft uh, is rolling out super video uh, resolution support uh, into the Edge browser and also what it's all about. Now, basically, they say that, did you know, one out of three videos are played at 480p or lower resolution in Edge today. And obviously, as many of you will know, when you play a video at a very low resolution, um, the, the quality is low, it's not enjoyable, uh, there are details that are blurred, text is not legible, and fast movement objects are difficult to follow. So because of this, Microsoft says they are now introducing an experimental video enhancement experience powered by AI technology. So that's artificial intelligence technology called video super resolution. And what this does, uh, it um, uses machine learning to enhance the quality of any video watched in the Edge browser by removing blocky compression artifacts and upscaling video resolution so you can enjoy crisp and clear videos on YouTube and other streaming platforms. Um, and that's basically the long and the short of what the feature is all about and why Microsoft are introducing it into the Edge browser. So obviously Microsoft doesn't want to be left off, off of the super resolution bandwagon, so to speak. Now, um, it is hidden behind an experimental flag. So as always, to enable the flag, we head to the address bar and we enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. In the search, just enter super, which will be enough to bring up the relevant flag called Microsoft Video Super Resolution. The description reads, enhance low resolution videos to 720p when device is plugged in. Feature requires a capable GPU. So there are some uh, strict hardware requirements and other components that have to be met, which by the way, I don't meet because I don't have the hardware on this device, but nonetheless, I'm sure that by the end of this video, you will get the general idea. And that's only available for Windows. You change the defaults to enabled, and then you'll have to restart Edge Canary to apply that flag. Now, obviously, I can't demonstrate. But if we head over to the cutting edge once again, just give that a second to load because we've had to apply the flag. And we head to uh, this um, write-up about the super resolution. Yeah, we can see the different components and conditions that have to be met. Um, you need one of the following, an NVIDIA RTX 203040 series GPU or AMD RX 5, 5700 to RX 7800 series GPUs. Video is played at less than 720p resolution as mentioned. The device is connected to AC power as mentioned. Both the height and width of the video are greater than 192 pixels. And the video is not protected with digital rights management technologies like PlayReady or Widevine. And Microsoft says currently that they are um, currently rolling out this feature to only 50% of users who are testing and trying out features in Edge Canary. So just take note of that. So you might see this feature, you may not. So it is on a controlled rollout. And as mentioned, what that basically does, using the Edge Video Super Resolution flag, what you will see um, once you've... Um, uh, enable the feature is you will see an HD icon in the address bar. So once the feature is enabled, yeah, in the address bar, if those um, if those different um, conditions are met, you will see an HD icon uh, in the address bar, and then you just click on that, and then that will enable super resolution in your Microsoft Edge web browser. Currently being tested in Edge Canary, and if anything more. Um, is um, any more information is uh, given by Microsoft and this does start 
have been tested on a wider scale and rolls out to the stable version, I will obviously post and let you know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.